Hello, and welcome to this pre recorded feedback event for the next generation B Tech Firsts in Music. It covers feedback for the June 2015 External Assessment for Unit 8 Music and Production Analysis. The content for this event has been generated by Sean Ashton, Lead Examiner for Unit 8 Music and Production Analysis. To help you get the most out of this feedback, you may want to have the following documents handy, as we will refer to them during the session. The specification, which includes Unit 8, Music and Production Analysis, starting on page 109. The examination paper for the 20th of May 2015, reference number 20375F. The mark scheme. The subject guide. This contains general information for teachers on the structure of the qualification and includes details of further guidance and resources available to support teaching and learning. The music extracts will be played during the recording. Here are the aims and objectives of today's session. You will Receive feedback on performance of learners of the 2015 examination series. Consider questions which led to significant numbers of learners underperforming and possible reasons for this. Address common issues. Consider delivery strategies and share good practice. Find out about further support available. This slide is about reviewing the external assessment for the BTEC First in Music, Unit 8, Music and Production Analysis. It will review the content covered, assessment objectives, skills and the knowledge tested, and the structure of assessment. The examination has three sections which cover the two learning aims. These cover the exploration of musical styles and genres and production techniques used in music through critical listening. The order in which each section appears on the paper will remain the same for each examination opportunity. The questions on the paper cover Level 1, Level 2 Pass, Level 2 Merit and Level 2 Distinction. This qualification is Level 2 Standard and is equivalent to GCSE A to C Standard. The examination will cover skills and knowledge to that level. Please note that as stated on the front page of the question paper, for the examination, learners must have an individual CD player, headphones and audio CD of recorded extracts. There will always be two extracts for this paper. Sections A and B will relate to each extract individually. Section C will relate to both extracts and will always carry a total of eight marks. The earlier questions are usually easier. The paper then graduates to more difficult questions. Learners should attempt all questions in the three sections. Learners will have the opportunity of resitting the examination in January or June. There will be a resit fee. This includes a summary of why learners performed well in the examination. It is evident that learners are being prepared more effectively in both exam technique and in developing the knowledge and understanding required for this unit specification. This is mostly evident in the extended questions, where several learners demonstrated planning in preparation for the questions relating to key musical features. Centres have clearly explored the genre of the first piece, rock and roll, as several learners showed a firm grasp of this style. These learners were able to offer sound responses to several questions, in particular those requiring specific knowledge of the style. This was particularly evident in question 10, where many were able to identify how the style was influenced and gained full credit as a result of this. The grade descriptors require learners to develop a secure grasp of oral concepts as well as knowledge of key terms in music and music production. Question 3a. 
This slide shows an exemplar response to the question relating to the call and response between the lead vocal and saxophone. This answer was awarded one full mark. Some learners identified the texture as opposed to the instrument's playing, incorrectly identified the instrument, or alternatively used the term instrument. Question 3b. Most learners were able to identify the difference in the call and response. The answer required learners to identify the addition of the backing vocals. This example was awarded one full mark. Question 6. This is a higher level question that requires an explanation. There is a clear improvement in the learner's approach to this question where it is evident that centres are preparing for this more fully. Some learners demonstrated some planning of their response in the margin, and this appeared to have helped them focus on the specific aim of the question. The excerpt will be played from 1 minute 16 to 1 minute 33. This slide shows a good response to the question. The learner has provided a valid explanation of the way in which the section has a different mood to the rest of the piece. There continue to be examples of learners identifying a valid point, but not providing an explanation of the change in mood, or providing descriptions of only the mood without identifying a specific point relating to a key musical feature. Where this was the case, it was not possible to award credit just for identifying a mood change. It was unfortunate that some responses specified a point, but identified the incorrect instrumentation. This example shows how the learner has identified two points, but not provided an explanation of the change in mood. This example was awarded two out of a maximum of four marks. Question 9. This is a higher level question which the majority of learners attempted, with several successfully gaining a full four marks. The most popular answers related to reverb, delay and EQ. This example demonstrates an accurate explanation, gaining a full four marks. Question 9. Where learners identified only production effects, without further explanation, one mark was awarded for each point made, as in the example given here. Question 10. This question was very successful, and most learners were able to access the marks. Those who had prepared and had some knowledge of this genre were very successful, and were able to provide detailed descriptions of how the style influenced rock and roll. This is an exemplar response, where the learner has explained the influence of both rhythm and blues and jazz, gaining a full four marks. Question 16. Most learners attempted this question and were able to score some marks. While many were able to identify a valid point relating to a musical feature, some did not attempt to further explain how the music communicated the meaning and mood of the lyrics, and therefore did not address the question in full. Most learners were able to provide effective descriptions of the impact of the strings to support the mood and others elaborated on other aspects while also linking directly to the lyrics and parts of the music. The excerpt will be played from 1 minute 28 to 2 minutes 3 seconds. This exemplar response demonstrates two full explanations in which the music communicates the meaning and mood of the lyrics. Question 16 the aim of this question was to identify how the musical features communicated the meaning and mood of the lyrics. Unfortunately, some learners did not read the question clearly and responded through providing description of the meaning of the lyrics themselves. This is an example of such a response. Question 17. As with question 7b, some learners were unable to understand the term idiomatic techniques and provided responses relating to tempo and dynamics. 
Misspelling of key technical language is seen quite often and centres are encouraged to be mindful of learners' usage of the correct spelling of key music vocabulary. This example shows two accurate responses, gaining a total of two marks. Question 20. This question relates to both track one on the CD, See You Later Alligator by Bill Haley and his Comets, and track two on the CD, Turning Tables by Adele. Both tracks will be played in full. Please refer to the mark scheme. Question 20. This is a higher level question and most learners attempted to answer. In comparison to previous tests, learners seem to have been more challenged in providing specific answers relating to the actual instrumentation. While this specifically targets learning aim A, responses could also relate to learning aim B and would be credited if references related to the instrumentation in terms of the production of these. Some did attempt to do so, but were generally unsuccessful. This example demonstrates how the learner has been able to draw comparisons and describe a range of similarities and differences in depth, culminating in a score of seven marks. Some learners had developed exam technique in the planning of answers. Question 20. Learners did not score if the responses were unrelated to instrumentation. Some learners tended to provide a brief discussion on the general musical features of the pieces. Other learners produced responses in the form of two charts. Whilst this method is helpful and provides an answer frame for the lower ability, it does restrict fuller responses and an ability to provide comparisons. Where this was the case, learners very rarely scored more than five marks. In this example, the learner has identified brass and piano but all other answers are unrelated to instrumentation and has therefore achieved a score of one mark. This slide is activity one and includes a learner response for question 20 that doesn't include the mark awarded. Spend some time thinking about what mark you would award for this response and consider why you would award that mark. You will need the mark scheme to hand for this activity. In this example, the learner has gained a total of three marks for the response. Basic similarities between the pieces are identified, but not compared in full. Reference to instrumentation is limited. Statements made are generic, with some application to the context in the question. The learner has scored three marks and is in the upper range of the lower mark band of the mark scheme. Slide 22 is Activity 2 and refers to question 16 from section B. The question reads, Explain two ways in which the music communicates the meaning and mood of the lyrics from 1 minute 28 to 2 minutes and 3 seconds. In this example, the learner has gained a total of two marks for the response. One mark has been credited for each valid point, but no second mark has been awarded, as the learner has not provided an explanation of how the music communicates the meaning and mood. Slide 24 is Activity 3 and refers to question 10 from section A. The question reads, The genre of this song is influenced by other styles of music with key musical features such as call and response. Explain how two styles of music have influenced other key musical features of this song. The learner has correctly identified two styles which include blues and jazz. While the first response relates to how this style has influenced the features of the song, the second point does not include an explanation to gain the additional mark for this. The learner has therefore gained a total of three marks.
slide 26 is activity 4 and refers to question 6 from section A. The question reads, explain two ways in which the section from 1 minute 16 to 1 minute 33 has a different mood to the rest of the piece. This is a detailed response to the question where the learner has achieved the full full marks. One mark for identifying a valid point and a further one mark for an explanation of how this has a different mood to the rest of the piece for each response. Common issues include Learners must read questions carefully. Where questions ask for an explanation, learners tended to identify a valid point, but not go on to provide an explanation to achieve the second mark. Several examples of misspelling, particularly with the use of technical terms. Learners did not demonstrate knowledge and understanding of both music and music production. It is essential that both are taught to achieve well in this unit. Not all learners were able to respond critically due to lack of knowledge of musical styles and features. Each question on the paper has been commented upon in the lead examiner's report. This is another resource for you to use to help understand the requirements of each question and to see what sort of responses were given by candidates and how they were awarded marks. Some of the information from the report has been used in this presentation and if you are able to spend some time reading it, I am sure it will help you to gain further understanding. The report can be given to learners so they can see for themselves what is required for the different types of questions and how they can be awarded marks. There is a range of further training events available, which will also be useful in providing support and guidance with the delivery of this qualification as a whole. These can be accessed via the link shown here. And finally, to access lots of useful support and resources for BTEC Firsts in Music, make sure you visit the subject page by clicking on the link. We hope you have found this session useful. Please take the time to complete our short online survey regarding this recording as we very much value your feedback. Thank you for your time.